C++ Programming Second Stage Communication Engineering Department. Today we will talk about looping in C++. We having three different statements for looping in C++ programming language. The while loop statement, the do while looping statement, and the for looping statement. In this lecture, we will explain the while looping statement. Before beginning, you have to know why looping is important in programming languages. You need to know exactly what a loop does. The loop repeats a statement or a block of a statement a certain number of times. So, you keep running in circles until you have done and then you quit and then you go to another staff for example according to your previous knowledge if we want to print the numbers from 1 to 20 we have to do something like this see out one C out 2, C out 3, and tool to C out 20. If we run this program, we will see the numbers from 1 to 20 on the output screen. You can see we need 20 number of lines to complete this task, so it is impractical. But by using while loop statement, we can write the previous program by using only a few number of lines and obtain the same output. So when we execute this program, we also see the numbers from 1 to 20 on the output screen. The general form of a while loading statement is while expression statement. From the expression, the compiler will decide to still execute the loop or terminate it. So, when the expression is evaluated to true, the statement between the brackets will be executed, and then the compiler will return again to the expression for the next loop. The statement between the brackets would be executed repeatedly while the expression is still evaluated to true. But if the expression is evaluated to false, the loop will be terminated and the compiler will move to the next line after the loop. Let's work through our program and see what happened in the memory and the output screen. Integer counter. This statement will declare a variable named counter of type integer. Thus, we have a cell in the memory named counter and it has no value up to now. Counter equal to 1. This statement will assign the value 1 to the variable counter. Thus, the value of the variable counter has become 1 in the memory. 
Now, the compiler will test the expression to determine whether execute or terminate the loop. So, is the counter is less than or equal to 20? Is 1 is less than or equal to 20? Yes. So, the block of statements between the brackets will be executed. See out counter and L. This statement will lead to print the value 1 on the output screen and move the cursor to a new line counter equal to counter plus one before going back to the next loop before going back to the next loop we have to change the value of the counter to avoid infinite loop and so the value of the counter will become 2 in the memory before returning back to the expression now the compiler will evaluate the expression again for the second loop to know whether to execute again or terminate the loop is 2 the value of the counter is now 2 is 2 less than or equal to 20 yes and thus the block of the statements between the brackets will be executed for the second time in the same way The loop will be executed 20 times as the value of the counter is still less than or equal to 20. So, when the counter equal to 2, 2 will be printed on the output screen. When the counter is 3, 3 will be printed on the output screen and so on. For four, four, etc. And the loop will be terminated when the value of the counter becomes greater than 20. In other words, when the expression is evaluated to false. The results of the program will be like this the numbers from 1 to 20 has been printed by using while do statement as a conclusion from the lecture to use a while statement in your program you have to do the following four states assign an initial value to the variables used in while expression. Look for the condition that leads to terminate the Ruby and put the reverse of this condition in while. In our example, the condition that terminates the Ruby is when the counter becomes greater than 20. So, the reverse of this condition is when the counter is less than or equal 20 and this condition would be used in while. Put the statement that you need them to be repeatedly executed between the while brackets. Remember that only this block of a statement will be executed a specific number of times. Don't 
forget to change the value of the variables which are used in while separation to be nearest from the termination condition before going back to the next loop this is an assignment to be solved by you and send them to the email below question one write a program to print the even numbers between one and one hundred you have to know the initial value and the last value and the increment value question two write a program to allow a user to continuously reading positive numbers by the keyboard and print them the program will stop this is the stop condition or the terminate condition the program will stop execution when the user omits a negative value so I give you a hint the continuous condition or the condition that leads to allow the execution of the statement is while the number and this is the unbooted number from the keyboard while number is greater than or equal to zero execute the statements or the while statements okay Thank you.